next part, uh, you're asked to express this one as a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay, so this is simply algebra. It's kind of linked to what we we're doing previously. And here's, here's how. So if you're simplifying, if you want to express this as a single, as a, as a single fraction, uh, these terms, they are different. Okay, this is a term, this is a term. And what you do here is you have to factorize the denominators first. The reason we factorize the denominators is that we want to expose uh, the factors, okay? So we want to expose the, the factors in the, in the, the question. So here, uh, check care, okay? Just like I was about to make this mistake of putting positive here. If there's negative, it's also, it's, uh, you affect out positive here. So the negative must reflect, okay? So minus three over X. The reason we actually factored out this one here is that we want we will have to determine the the highest common the uh, highest the lowest common multiple okay so we have to determine the LCM of the denominators the LCM is also called the common denominator so that's what we want so if we break down our if we factorize our denominators then we can be in a position where we can actually identify the factors sometimes some of these factors they are repeating so for our case the factor which is repeating it was x and then the other factor would be uh, 2 minus x here. So this one would be your, your lowest common multiple or your common denominator. So here into this one, you actually get 1 multiplied by 6, you get 6. Here into this one, you actually get uh, 2 minus x. So what I advise you is just, just put negative 3 here, which was on top already. Then the uh, rest of the of the factor, the, the factor, uh, now, because we say it x into, into this, then we uh, x and x cancel, then we get 2 minus x here. You're supposed to put this in brackets. Why? Because you're supposed to be mindful of the, of the signs so that you don't uh, mix up any signs and also so that you remember to simplify the signs as well. So here you have to expand. So negative 3 multiplied by 2, you get negative 6. Then negative 3 multiplied by negative x, you actually get 3x here. Okay. So divided by, by x. 2 minus minus x like this so 6 minus 6 you simply get 0 okay so this disappears you get 3x divided by x 2 minus x like this so what you realize now is that x is a factor for the numerator and also the denominator so this this those ones they can actually cancel out such that your answer would be 3 over 2 minus x okay so we are done, and uh, just to recap, we have to find the lowest common factor, uh, common multiple or the, the common denominator. It's still the same thing, and the, the way that we do it is we actually have to factorize our denominators. It exposes the factors. And uh, when we are finding the lowest common multiple, we don't want to repeat any factors. So that's why here we just put x is already represented in this factor. So that's why we didn't repeat. Uh, if uh, it was it were someone else, then they would have... Um, uh, had uh, uh, x, they would have put this as a as a common denominator, 2x minus minus x squared. It's still fine, but then what you realize is that you actually struggle in uh, factorizing this because you you actually struggle in simplifying this because you have you have created um, square square terms and then those square terms you actually have to simplify them somehow. Okay, so it can get cumbersome for you. This was the simple way to do it. And uh, we did it right. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Next question, it's on uh, variation. So we have p directly uh, uh, p uh, proportionate. So p is directly proportional. The reason I'm saying directly proportional is that this one it's uh, it's it's simply a term. Okay, it's direct. There's no one over anything. Uh, you will see that it's also the same thing as saying p is directly proportional to uh, the t is inversely proportional to to t, to t cubed. But then that's that's not really necessary right now. You're just given p is directly proportional to t to the power minus three, and you're asked to find that formula. So what you do is you first write your expression, but then you have to put equals here. When you put equals, you have to introduce a constant. So this one actually becomes t, t k t to the power negative three like this. Okay. So uh, when you're asked to find the formula connecting, you have to find uh, the constant k, okay, so that you can replace it out, and that will be your formula. So um, you're you're told this, so you can actually write uh, when p is equal to four, t is equal to two, okay. But then for our case, we're not going to uh, write since they already defined it for us here. So there's nothing uh, we have to do, okay. So here we have to put on t, we put two, and here notice that it says the point negative three.
Okay, so here you get 4k, t to the power negative 3 here is equal to 1 over t to the power 3. Okay, so it says the law says 8 to the power negative n is equal to 1 over 8 to the power n, one of the laws of indices. Okay, so um, here that, that's what we applied essentially. So here you actually get k, uh, a, k uh, 4 equal to k over t to the power 3 is equal to 8. Okay, so you can actually uh, multiply both sides by 8 here. Then you get k equal to, uh, this one cancels, this one cancels. 4 multiplied by 8, you get 32. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to recall our formula to say, therefore, uh, p equal to 32, t to the power negative 3. Okay, if you want, you can write it like this. So, or you can write it as, P equal to 32 over T cubed, it's still fine. Okay, so this one is still fine. Uh, it's still the uh, same way of expressing the same thing. So here, remember to put it in your answer box. Okay, that's it. So here, your this one is a question on substitution. So you, you, know, you now have your formula here and you're asked to find the value of T when P is equal to, is equal to half. Okay, so here, from here, what you can do is to make T the subject of the of the formula. So t cubed here. So what you do is um, you multiply by t cubed by t cubed here. Okay. So when you multiply by t cubed, t cubed will go on the top. But then you also want to get rid of p. So you can do it in the same breadth. You can divide by p as well. Okay. So what you do is this one cancel, this one cancel, and this one cancel, this one cancel, and you get t cubed is equal to 32 over over p. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to uh, use the space right here. Okay, so now we have um, uh, t cubed equal to uh, 32 over over p here. So to uh, get t, we have to take the cube root. Okay, so we have to take the cube root. So if you want, um, you can say you can actually write it as whenever you're creating um so many divisions or some so many um for, for example this one is a fraction and then you want to create another fraction here the way that i always tell my students is um write it as 32 divided by by p here okay the reason you want to do that is that you want the process of of simplifying the denominators to be very clear to you so it'd be 32 divided by, remember all those things, they are happening within this uh, cube root sign, okay? So we actually get uh, divided by this. So uh, the way that uh, we get rid of the division here is to actually put a, a multiplication and then flip this one. So it becomes uh, cube root of 32 multiplied by two over one, okay? So you want to get rid of the, the division. So you have to put a multiplication here. And the reason we put a divide here is we didn't want to create um, another fraction because we'd have to say 32 divided by, by one half, okay? So which would be, it would be simplifiable, but then sometimes it can be prohibitive. So here you actually get uh, 32 multiplied by two, you get 64 here. So cube root of 64, you get what? Cube root of 64, it's, uh, it's simply four, because four by four, you get 16. 16 multiplied by four, you get uh, 64, okay? So 16 multiplied by 2, then you get uh, 32, um, 4, 4 by 4, then you get 16, 16 multiplied by 2, then you get uh, 32 multiplied by 2 again. Remember, I'm just punching up this 4 here. Then you get 64. So this one would be, be uh, 4 like this. Okay, so uh, that's it for uh, this question. We'll continue, uh, we'll continue our next paper uh, very uh, soon, okay? If you haven't subscribed yet, we encourage you to do so. And uh, make sure you like and um, uh, comment in the comment section here. Uh, it helps other people discover our videos. Okay, so thanks so much. Uh, our channel is really growing, so yeah, we're really uh, pleased with that. So wish you well in your preparation. We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Yuba out.